China has invited Southeast and South Asian journalists to forge a network to push forward its regional connectivity agenda. According to Vice Director of the Kunming's Information Office, media exchange would give the connectivity idea a new height. Vice Director of the Kunming's Information Office told a group of journalists from Southeast and South Asia currently on a visit on the Yunnan province invitation. He said they were building relations with media to highlight the connectivity agenda. According to him, Beijing is currently promoting its national strategy of building Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st century Maritime Silk Road that will connect the two regions. At least 45 journalists from Bangladesh, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bhutan, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and Thailand are visiting the province, which is China's gateway to the Southeast and South Asian countries. The provincial government has undertaken similar exchanges at least thrice since 2011 with an aim to showcase Kunming, the spring city. Journalists witnessed the opening of the China South Asia Biggest Expo on Friday and will be taking to its country sites and places of natural beauties in the next three days of stay. The vice director said, Kunming is one of the first in China to be recognized as the best tourist destinations with over 80 tourist attractions and more than a dozen top national tourism routes. The city is connected to the China's coastal areas through Guizhou and Guangxi provinces to the east, to the north with mid-China, south with Vietnam, Laos, Thailand and Cambodia, and west to Myanmar, India and Pakistan. Kunming is also the window for China to open to its five regions of Southeast Asia, South Asia, West Asia, Southern Europe, and Africa. He encouraged network among the visiting journalists so that connectivity continues. Spring forever. Welcome to Kunming. The spring. Consensus. China's new set of reform and opening up policy unlocked an additional 500 billion U.S. dollars of overseas Chinese investment potential and import of over 10 trillion U.S. dollars in the next five years, creating new and greater opportunities for South Asian countries. Its vice premier Wang Yang on Friday at the opening of the China South Asia Expo said, "China was ready to transform technology to South Asian countries." He said they would also cooperate in mega infrastructure projects that include energy, technology, and road through Build Operate Transfer or BOT or Public Private Partnership. Yang said China was looking forward to zero tariff regime of 95% commodities traded with LDCs in South Asia. In his keynote remark at the opening ceremony, Lao Deputy Prime Minister Som Savat Leng Savat, who also spoke at the opening of the expo, responded positively that over the past decade, cooperation between China and ASEAN countries had produced satisfying trade outcomes. He said cooperating in trade, infrastructure, and human resource development is recommendable for foreign investors as the Lao government is welcoming investment from China, ASEAN countries, and beyond the region.